Hey there, it's Chris from Goodroads, and in this video, I'm going to be showing how you can use this open source 3D printable kit to pour your own mold to cast your own bushings for skateboards and longboards at home. This kit is the end product of the bushing casting experiments I've been doing over the past year here on the channel, and I've used it to make four sets of molds so far. I've used them repeatedly, and the results are right where I want them, so I figured it was time to share it with you guys. Let's get to it. The kit is a set of seven printed parts. There are four bushing bucks, two mold walls, and this mold base, which is really a negative of the lid of the finished mold. And we're gonna be using these parts to pour a silicone squish style mold, or a capped mold. I'm getting started by post-processing my prints. I'm sanding my bushing bucks and my mold base down to 600 grit. This step isn't completely necessary. You can cast good bushings without doing it, but it's gonna give me a nice surface finish on my parts and a nice clean parting line for my mold. For my mold walls, instead of doing all that sanding, I just covered mine in a layer of packing tape, which gave me a super smooth surface for the sides of my molds. Again, this step is completely optional. Once all that prep work is done, we're going to pour the first half of our mold. To get started, we're going to seat our bushing bucks in the mold base. The bushing bucks have two holes on one side of them, and for this step, we're going to seat them whole side down. Next, you close the mold walls around the base and the box. I'm using rubber bands to keep the mold walls together and painter's tape to close up the bottom of the mold so that no silicone leaks out. Next up, we're going to mix up a batch of silicone. I'm using Smooth-On Sorta Clear 37, which is a fairly firm platinum-based silicone that consistently has gotten me good results. I mix equal amounts of part A and part B and stir the dickens out of it. Once the parts are thoroughly integrated, the silicone gets poured into the mold box. I'm pouring from up high, aiming for low spots in the mold, and allowing the silicone to flow and fill in around my box. You can see that the silicone is full of bubbles, so at this point, I recommend moving your mold in progress into a pressure pot to cure. As I've been developing these kits, I've been curing my silicone and urethane parts under pressure at around 45 psi, and that has been yielding great bubble-free results. Once the silicone is cured, we're going to remove the kit from the pressure pot and crack open the mold walls to reveal the first half of our mold. I'm taking a quick moment to clean up my silicone with an X-Acto knife. I found that this is a lot easier to do while the mold base is still in place than it is after everything's removed. Once that's done, you remove the mold base, but be careful to leave the bushing box where they are in the silicone. And at this point, you can use a knife to clean up any silicone that is squeezed in between the mold base and the box. And with that, the first half of our mold is done. Let's move on to making the lid. To pour the second half of the mold, we're going to reseat the silicone in the mold walls, keeping those bushing bucks right where they are. Again, I'm using rubber bands to keep everything closed up tight, and the silicone will do a great job of sealing off the bottom of the mold this time around. Next up, we're going to add a mold release on top of what we already have in place. The parting line between the mold halves in this kit include registration to keep your mold halves aligned, and it's also been designed to make filling the mold simple and straightforward. Silicone sticks to itself like mad, so if we don't add a layer of mold release at this point, we'll lose all of that utility that's been designed to be between the two parts of the mold. 
I'm using plain old petroleum jelly as a mold release, and I've thinned that with some isopropyl alcohol so I can get it on on a nice thin layer. At this point, you can use those holes in the bucks to add vents to your mold lid. This step is optional, but doing it will create a way for air to escape from your mold and will help eliminate bubbles in your homemade bushings. To add the vents, all you need to do is place some toothpicks, skewers, or even 3D printer filament into those holes in the bucks so that they stick up out of the top of the mold box. Then it's time to mix and pour the second batch of silicone. Once the silicone is cured, crack open the pot and remove the molds. At this point, you can pull off the walls of the mold box, remove the toothpicks, crack open the mold, and remove the box. And you're done. You've made a four bushing squish mold. You ready to put it to use? Let's make some bushings. The first thing you need to do is mix up a batch of urethane. For this cast, I'm using Specialty Resins Flexit 90. I'm also adding a bit of yellow urethane pigment from the same manufacturer, just for color. I've designed this squish mold to be very easy to use. The parting line forms funnels that allow you to slightly overfill the mold, and that overfill acts as a resin reservoir. You also have the option of adding some resin to the lid of the mold, and depending on the resin, this can help eliminate bubbles. I'm still experimenting with this to get the best technique down. Once your urethane is poured, put the lid of the mold in place, making sure it's aligned, and gently press down on the top. But very gently. If you push too hard, you'll squish urethane out of the mold and leave voids. And as soon as the lid is in place, it's right back into the pressure pot. Once the cure is done, remove the mold and crack it open. Demold your bushings and clean up any flashing or excess resin, and you're done! You cast a set of bushings! Be sure to read the data sheet for your resin to see if it needs a day or two to cure for maximum strength, but then they should be ready to ride. And here is the mold, and here are the bushings! It really is as easy as that! I'm really excited about this. One of the things I want to do here on the channel is expand the possibilities for the kinds of parts that we can manufacture and make at home. And this is a kit that I have been working on for a very long time. And like I said earlier in the video, I've used it extensively. I've used this style of mold to make more than 50 bushings at this point, and I am really happy with how the system works. And I really do want to get you guys out there making parts, so this kit is available a number of ways. To start with, it is completely open source. You can get the printing files along with a Fusion 360 working file and a .step file so that you can make your own kits and you can get in and modify the parts and hopefully make whatever kind of bushings you want. I'm releasing it under the Creative Commons Attribution License, which means you can go on to use these parts, you can sell the bushings you make from it, you can use these however you want. Just make sure to attribute me, the original creator. And if you don't have access to a 3D printer, I understand a lot of people are in that boat, I'll print some for you. These kits are available for purchase over on the goodroadscollective.com website. There'll be links to all of that, to the kit in the shop, along with the project files down in the description below. One quick process note before I move on to other topics, you can make a set of molds and cast bushings without a pressure pot. And depending on the resin you use, the bushings will be okay. But you'll really have a hard time getting consistent, repeatable results if you're not using pressure in order to make sure you're getting bubble-free casts. As for me, I've pretty much got my technique nailed down, and in the process of making this video, I cast a couple sets of pretty dang good bushings. I'm going to be saving some for myself, but the rest are going to be going to the patrons who have been supporting the channel up to this point. It's because of their support that I'm able to continue with these urethane casting experiments, and I figure this is just a really good way to show my appreciation and to give back a little bit. So thank you guys very much for your support. If you'd like to join the Patreon, and help enable me to develop kits like this, develop processes for making these parts at home, help me research different materials. The support there really does help me continue these cool projects that I'm tackling here on the channel, and it is very much appreciated. So for now, that's Bushings Wrapped Up. If you've got any questions about the kit, if you've got any questions about the process, if you want to just 
generally talk your thing casting with me, leave a comment down below. I do my best to get to all of them. And you guys know that I've been working on more than bushings this year, so next week, we're gonna talk wheels. If you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that? Because as exciting as this project is, that one, ooh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for coming by. I love having you guys along for the journey. I hope that I'm doing everything I can to enable you to get out there, make your own boards, make your own components. This kind of stuff is really exciting to me. So I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you like what we're doing here on the channel. And until next time, I'll see you soon. I managed to hit the lens that time.